Hi friends, this is your tech expert Neil and you are watching HowIsAll.com. In today's video, I will show you how you can easily boost your windows volume above the max level. Usually you require to boost your volume above the max level in when your speakers are not functioning properly or the default volume is low because of some driver issue. If you are not able to solve the problem because either it is because of the hardware problem or driver issue then using this video tutorial you will definitely be able to increase your max volume. There are two methods I will be discussing in this video. The first method uses the windows default volume boosting mechanism. If you are aware of that and if you have already implemented that then you can skip to the method 2 in which you will be using a third party software that is completely free and open source so that you can easily boost your windows 10 volume. So now let's start with the method 1 that is using the default windows boosting solution. This solution is available in all versions of windows from 7 to 10. So I'll be showing it in 10 but it is also applicable for windows 7. For that you just have to go to the control panel. So I'll type in control panel and then over here you just find out the sound icon over here. Right click on it, open. And in this all the playback sound devices will be listed. Select the device for which you want to boost the volume and then click the properties button over here. In this go to the enhancement tab and then disable all other enhancement and just click on this loudness equalization enhancement. You can see in my case I have already checked that out and that's it. Click apply and ok. This will boost your volume slightly, not to a very great extent. If after doing this also you feel that your maximum volume is quite low, then we'll head to method 2. For method 2, we'll be downloading a open source third party software, the link for which is down in the video description. The name of the software is Equalizer APO. So I'll open the link. Using the link given down in the video description, this particular page will open up. So just click on the download over here and it will start downloading the 64-bit version of Equalizer APO. If your computer does not support 64-bit, then there is a 32-bit version also available. So for that, you just have to go back and click on the Downloads tab over here. And over here you can see there is a 32-bit version over here. You can just click on that and then it will go to the download section and it will start the download. After the file has been downloaded, we will open up the setup. You might be prompted with a UAC box and you will also require administrative privileges to perform this setup. Just click yes on the UAC. Then this installation setup will begin. This is quite simple. You just have to click next. I agree. And then select the destination folder. You can keep the destination folder the same as what it is. Click next and click install. After the installation finishes, it will prompt you to select the devices on which you want to install the drivers for this particular software. In this section, you select the speakers for which you want to boost the volume. Mind you, this can be your speakers, it can be headphones, it can be any playback devices. So whatever device in which you want to boost the volume, you select that and install the APO drivers. Click OK and then click OK and then it will ask for reboot. I'll reboot the system and we'll get back from where we left. Okay friends, we have rebooted the system and now we'll configure the volume booster. For doing that, we have to open a couple of program that we recently installed. So click on the start menu and in Windows 10 you will see recently added software. If that if that is not visible, scroll down in the programs and you will see you will see equalizer APO over here in the programs. Just click that and in this you will see couple of programs. The first thing we require is the configuration editor. Click on that and in this we will be configuring how loud we want to boost the volume. First make sure that the device that you want to boost is listed over here. In my case, it is the default laptop speaker. So that's listed over here and that in that case, it's fine. And the next thing is you, you don't require 
the equalizer so you can switch this off by clicking on this power off button similarly you, you do not require this section also you can turn this off by clicking on this the next thing is the amplification part in this setting you have to be very careful because if you amplify your sound too loud then there is a chance that your speaker will get damaged permanently if you are boosting your headphone volume in that case you can damage your ears also so slowly increase the gain so initially it is minus 6 dB that means that the volume is being decreased so first we will make it to 0 like that and at the bottom you can see how much gain is happening so at present there is no gain so that's why nothing is being shown over here so ideally 1 dB you can start with 1 dB and slowly crank it up to 2, 3, 4 depending on how low the your initial volume is you might have to crank it up in a similar fashion so in this case you can see over here instant mode is on so that means that as soon as you increase the setting the volume will increase so you can play in the background some audio file to check how loud is good enough for you if you make it too loud there will be distortions in your speaker and also if you make it extremely loud as mentioned before your speaker will get damaged so carefully increase the volume gain and then click save this will save your settings if even if changing the settings you cannot see any volume gain in your speaker or headphone then in that case you have to change some settings in the configuration so again go to the all programs click on the start button and then scroll down equalizer to equalizer apo over here and then click on configurator over here this will bring up the same section where it asked during the installation which speaker you require to install their sound boosting software in this section click on the speaker in which your sound booster is not working and then click on troubleshooting options in this section you will see that there are several options check boxes pre mix post mix so in this you'll have to do trial and error i have found in my other laptop that by removing it or use original apo from both the pre mix and the post mix section the sound boosting starts working so it's a bit of trial and error and you'll have to find which particular setting is causing the problem one by one uncheck these boxes and then click ok and then for each time you'll have to reboot your system for the settings to get applied so i'll not uh, do that because in my case this is working perfectly so if in case the boosting is not working in that case you have to perform those troubleshooting steps i hope you like this video friends it takes a lot of effort to make these tutorial videos so if you liked it please please give us a thumbs up share this video with your friends and family and Subscribe to our YouTube channel howisol.com so that you can watch such more educational and helpful videos in the future. Also, don't forget to click the bell icon. That's it, friends. Signing off. Take care. Bye.